Hey everyone, this is Jillian Graham, and I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on Google link sharing. I have a similar tutorial um, that was done specifically for our Bitmoji Craze for Educators Facebook group. Um, but since I have made that video, Google has changed the way that link sharing looks just a little bit. Everything still pretty much works the same, but um, I just wanted to make a new visual for you guys and give you some... Um, tips about force copy, what it does and what it doesn't do. So let's get started. So I'm just going to use this Google slide presentation as an example. And right here, this yellow button that um, says share, that's what you're going to click on to change your link share settings. So currently this presentation is private to only me. And if I want to share with other people, um, I just need to click in this box right down here. So I could, if I wanted to just share it with a specific person, I could just add them to this and I can add them as a viewer or an editor or just a commenter, or I could even change the ownership over to them. Now, my um, G Suite is controlled by my school district, so I cannot change the ownership to someone outside of my school district but I could change the ownership to someone within my school district. So down here, I'm gonna click in this box and that'll open up some different options. So currently this is restricted um, and I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna change it. So if I want anyone within my school district to be able to view with this link, I can change it to that. And then if I want anyone at all to be able to view with this link, I would click this option. Now, some districts or domains restrict to um, just this, so you won't be able to share outside of your district. If that's the case, and you still want to share something with other people outside of your domain, you need to create your presentation that you want to share in your personal account in order to share it out with anyone. Okay? But fortunately, I don't have that problem I can share outside of my district so anyone with the link can view is what I'm going to change this to so if I post this link for instance in our Facebook group or if I email it out to someone that I want to share my presentation with they will only be able to view my presentation they can make a copy of my presentation um, but they won't be able to edit my actual presentation if I want people to be able to edit, so let's say I'm trying to make a collaborative document where I want everyone to add their um, information to or whatnot, then I would change edit this to editor so everyone with the link would be able to edit the file. But we just want to keep it on can view right here, and I'm just going to click on done. So now I have that link, and I'm going to show you what that would look like if I opened it. And also I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, the force copy link that a lot of people are using. So a force copy link is not some magical way to protect your file. The can view setting is what protects your file. Okay, so changing the end to just copy. Yes, it forces people to make a copy, um, but like for me, I like to change the end back to edit so I can see what I'm making a copy of. I don't like to just make a copy of a bunch of things. So let me go through all of that. Okay, so if I just take that link, and let's say I gave this to someone and they opened it. This is what they're gonna see. I'm gonna switch accounts because it's gonna open to my um, school account. So this is what they would see. If they opened that link, it is can view. Notice how it says view only. I can still make a copy of this. I can make a copy of whatever I want, but I cannot edit, like nothing's moving. I can't edit their file because it is view only. Now, I could request edit access, but if they're sharing it with me as view only, they probably don't want me to edit. So don't request <laughs> edit access on people's files. If you want your own copy, go to File, Make a Copy, and then you'll have your own copy in your drive and you will own it. You can go to Document Details and see who's the owner. I am not the owner because it doesn't say me. 
But as soon as I make a copy, now if I go to Document Details, it says me. I'm the owner, so I can do whatever I want with this file now because I've made a copy and now I'm the owner. Now, the thing about force copy. So let's take that link again from earlier. And a lot of people like to do a force copy. So they change the end of this and make it copy. And then that's what they share with other people, which is great. What this is going to do is force me to make a copy. Okay. Well, I personally don't like to make a copy of things that I, I don't know what it is. Okay. So what I do is I change it back to edit, which I can easily do. If I have your copy link, I can backspace, change this back to edit, and get right back into your file. And if you have not set it to can view, switch back to my personal one again. If you haven't set it to can view, I'll be able to edit your file. But I set my share settings. The very first thing I did was set my share settings to can view so that even if someone goes back into my file and changes the end of this back to edit, they will not be able to edit my file. Okay. So I think that covers most of everything that comes up in our um, Facebook group that we see a lot of. Make sure you set it to can view, set it to can edit if you want them to edit it. And you can force a copy, yes, but make sure you set it to view only first. You can also change the end to other things like preview. and that will give them a presentation view of your file. You can still make copies of this from here. You just click on the cogwheel and then open editor. Okay, that was longer than I thought it was gonna be, but I hope this helps you. I hate when people, um, when I see people sharing in the group and they don't have it set to can view and somebody messes up their work. Um, one more thing, if that does happen to you, if someone goes in, and delete your work because you didn't send it, didn't set it to can view. So let's say somebody came in, deleted this, and changed it to their own. I can always go back and go to file and go to version history, see version history, and then I can change it back to. I can restore it. I click these three buttons here. Um, I can oh well, I can restore this version right here and then restore, and I'm back to what it was before. So if anybody, if you accidentally share as can edit um, and someone does not make a copy of your presentation because they think they already did or they didn't realize what was happening, you can always restore the previous version. It's really not a big deal, all right? But so you don't have to go through that, make sure you set your share settings to can view. and you're all set. All right, I hope that helps guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.